Welcome to Brain Booster. Have you ever wondered what sparked the most devastating conflict the world has ever seen World War II? The seeds of this global catastrophe were sown in the aftermath of the First World War, with the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. This treaty, signed in 1919, imposed heavy penalties on Germany, holding it solely responsible for the war. Germany was burdened with crippling reparations, territorial losses, and severe restrictions on its military. This fostered a deep resentment within the German populace, creating a fertile ground for radical ideologies. Enter Adolf Hitler, a charismatic speaker with a knack for tapping into the frustrations of the German people. Hitler and his National Socialist Party, more commonly known as the Nazi Party, promised to restore Germany's lost pride and power. They blamed the country's troubles on the Versailles Treaty, the Weimar Republic, and a global conspiracy they claimed was led by Jews. Hitler's rise to power in 1933 marked the beginning of a dark chapter in history. He swiftly dismantled Germany's democratic institutions, establishing a totalitarian regime. He then embarked on a campaign of aggressive expansion, violating the terms of the Versailles Treaty. The final spark that ignited the Second World War was Hitler's invasion of Poland on the 1st of September, 1939. Defying international pleas for peace, Hitler's forces stormed Poland with a new kind of warfare, known as Blitzkrieg, or Lightning War. The aim was to overwhelm the enemy with rapid, concentrated attacks before they could properly react. Britain and France, bound by treaties to protect Poland, declared war on Germany two days later. However, they were unable to provide any significant assistance to the beleaguered country. Poland fell to the combined forces of Germany and the Soviet Union which had also invaded from the east under a secret pact with Hitler. And thus, in 1939 the world was plunged into a war of unprecedented scale and devastation. The stage was set for a conflict that would span six years, involve over 70 nations and territories, and result in the deaths of an estimated 75 to 85 million people. This was the start of World War II, a war like no other. Now that we've established the origins of the war, let's move on to some of the key battles and turning points. First off, the Battle of Britain. This was a major campaign fought entirely by air forces. It was a desperate time for Britain, standing alone against the might of Nazi Germany, but it was here that Britain's resolve hardened. The Royal Air Force, outnumbered but not outmatched, defended the skies. Their victory marked the first major defeat for Nazi Germany, proving to the world that the tide could be turned. Next we have the invasion of the Soviet Union, codenamed Operation Barbarossa. This was the largest military operation in history, both in terms of manpower and casualties. Hitler's gamble to conquer the Soviet Union before winter set in, backfired disastrously. The brutal Russian winter, combined with the fierce resistance of the Red Army, resulted in a catastrophic defeat for the Nazis. It was the beginning of the end for Hitler's dream of a thousand-year Reich. Then there was the attack on Pearl Harbor. This surprise military strike by the Japanese Navy against the United States naval base in Hawaii was a pivotal moment that brought the United States into the war. The day after the attack, President Franklin D. Roosevelt famously declared it as a date which will live in infamy. The attack galvanized the American people, shifting public opinion in favor of entering the war. Each of these battles was a turning point. The Battle of Britain signaled the end of Hitler's series of victories. The invasion of the Soviet Union marked the strategic turning point of the war. And the attack on Pearl Harbor brought the United States with its immense industrial and military might into the conflict. Each of these battles marked a pivotal moment in the war, shaping its direction and outcome. While the battles raged on, a horrifying genocide was taking place, the Holocaust. This was not a war fought on battlefields, but a systematic state-sponsored extermination of six million Jews by the Nazi regime, led by Adolf Hitler. The Holocaust was an unparalleled atrocity, a dark chapter in human history that unfolded in the shadow of World War II. Hitler's anti-Semitic ideology painted Jews as the root of Germany's problems, and his solution was the final solution, the total annihilation of the Jewish people. Throughout Europe, Jews were rounded up, stripped of their rights, their dignity, and their humanity. They were crammed into ghettos in inhumane conditions, where disease and starvation were rampant, but the ghettos were just the beginning. From there, Jews were transported like cattle to concentration and extermination camps. Names like Auschwitz, Treblinka, and Sobibor became synonymous with death. In these places of horror, men, women, and children were subjected to forced labor, 
brutal experiments, and mass murder. At Auschwitz alone, over a million Jews were killed, most in gas chambers using Zyklon B, a cyanide-based pesticide. The Nazis' industrial-scale genocide was chilling in its efficiency and ruthlessness. But the Holocaust was not just about the millions who died, it was also about those who survived. Amid the darkness, there were stories of courage, resilience, and the indomitable spirit of the human will. As World War II neared its end, these camps were liberated by Allied forces. Images of emaciated survivors and mass graves shocked the world, revealing the full horror of Hitler's genocidal campaign. In the aftermath, many Nazis were held accountable for their crimes during the Nuremberg trials, marking a significant step in the development of international law. Yet the scars of the Holocaust remain, it's a grim reminder of what can happen when hatred goes unchecked. The Holocaust remains one of the most horrific examples of man's inhumanity to man. It's a stark lesson from history that we must never forget so that such atrocities are never repeated. The tide of the war began to turn with the Allied invasion of Normandy on D-Day. D-Day, June 6, 1944, marked the beginning of the end for the Axis powers. This largest seaborne invasion in history saw over 150,000 Allied troops storm the beaches of Normandy, France, piercing the Atlantic Wall, and establishing a Western Front. In the months that followed, the Allies pushed eastward, liberating Paris in August, and advancing into Germany. Simultaneously the Soviet Union was advancing from the east, squeezing the life out of Hitler's Third Reich. In the Pacific theater, the United States continued its island-hopping campaign, closing in on Japan's home islands. The Battle of Leyte Gulf, the largest naval battle of World War II, marked a decisive victory for the Allies and left the Japanese Navy virtually destroyed. The final nail in the coffin came in April 1945, with the fall of Berlin. After a grueling battle, Soviet forces captured the city, and Adolf Hitler, the man who had started it all, died by suicide in his bunker. Meanwhile in the Pacific, the United States made the fateful decision to use a new weapon of immense power. In August, atomic bombs were dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The devastation was unimaginable, and Japan surrendered just days later. However, it was not an immediate end for all. Hiru Onoda, a Japanese soldier, remained in hiding in the Philippine jungle until 1974, nearly 30 years after the war's end, still believing it was ongoing. And so, World War II, the most widespread and deadly conflict in human history, came to a close. Over 70 nations had been involved, and an estimated 75 to 85 million people had lost their lives, a sobering testament to the devastating power of modern warfare. In 1945, after six years of brutal conflict, World War II finally came to an end. But the echoes of this global cataclysm would reverberate for decades to come, shaping the world as we know it today. The end of the war did not mean the end of its impact. World War II had far-reaching effects, forever altering the global landscape. The aftermath of this colossal conflict brought about significant geopolitical changes, as nations grappled with the devastating toll of the war. The immediate post-war period was marked by a dramatic shift in power dynamics. The world was effectively divided into two major spheres of influence. On one hand, the United States emerged as a global superpower, its economic and military strength largely unscathed by the war. On the other hand, the Soviet Union, despite heavy losses, positioned itself as a dominant force in Eastern Europe, setting the stage for the Cold War. This new global order was punctuated by the establishment of the United Nations in 1945. Formed in the spirit of international cooperation and peacekeeping, the United Nations aimed to prevent future conflicts on the scale of World War II. Its charter, signed by 51 nations, recognized the equal rights of all people and promised to promote social progress and better living standards worldwide. Yet beneath the veneer of unity and peace, tensions simmered. The ideological divide between the democratic West and the communist East led to the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension that lasted for nearly half a century. This era was characterized by political chess games, proxy wars, and an arms race that constantly threatened to erupt into a full-blown nuclear war. In the ashes of World War II, a new world order was forged, economies were rebuilt, boundaries were redrawn, and societies were reshaped. It was a time of rebuilding, but also a time of reckoning. The war crimes trials in Nuremberg and Tokyo held those responsible for the atrocities of the war accountable, sending a clear message, 
Such acts of inhumanity would not be tolerated. World War II left an indelible mark on the world, shaping the course of the 20th century. The echoes of its impact still resonate today, a sobering reminder of the profound consequences of global conflict. As we reflect on its aftermath, let's remember the lessons it has taught us, and strive for a future of peace, unity, and understanding. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.